Hello random gamers, my name is Ender Gaming and I am here on the Frosted Tiny server IP that is down in the description below and up in the right hand corner. So after playing on here for quite a little while, maybe three weeks now, I have noticed that there are a lot of great builds here on this server and I would like to show them off to you. If you guys like a particular build, leave it down in the comments below and depending on how many people liked that build, they will become the winner of this top 10 builds this week. If you guys really like that idea, I will be happy to do more. Just leave a comment and a like down below. And always to show, show support, leave a subscribe. So we're going to start this video off and I'll see you there. Alright, so one of our builds is made by It's Kaleo, or Force Clarity, as he has his very own bell tower. It is in Wonderland on the server, and it is an actually very great build, which almost got Kale onto the build team, but he declined and just became mod instead. This is our number 10 spot, as there is no ranking in this, it is just the best builds in the server. So if you guys like this build, leave some love and support to this build down in the comments down below. This has been number 10, we're going to move on to number 9. And coming in at our number 9 spot, we have Nita's Bank, or I, I don't really know what to call this build, I'm going to have to ask her later on. Um, this build is located. Ooh, lamppost. This build is located in the Nita's Town spawn area. It is the first thing that you see once you spawn in. It is a very ma fantastic build, it, and that is why it has reached the number nine spot. If you guys like this build, leave a comment down to show its support. Moving on to number eight. Okay, now coming in at number eight, I have my bell tower. Once again, it is located. In Nita's Cloud, as you can see, our bank is over there. My bell tower took about seven hours to complete. It's, I don't really know how many blocks it took. It has a andosite bell at the top of it, and it is a really cool attachment just to make the town look pretty and stuff. Even though I'm not in the town anymore, I just built it because I had nothing to do, and I was also trying out for Jared's build team. Um, if you guys really like this build, please leave a comment down below to show us support. Moving on to number 7. Okay, and coming in at the number 7 spot, this build is located in Camden, or the owner's town. It is his modern mansion that is owned by Asylum, and I should get rid of my hand, sorry about that. Asylum's mansion is pretty self-explanatory, it is very modern, very nice, very colorful. This build is a very, very nice build. I very recommend, if you guys come onto the server, I suggest you guys come out, even though it doesn't have really much of an inside, it is still very, very nice from the outside. I suggest you guys come on on and look, check out some of the build, this build. If you guys like this build, please show your love and support for it down in the comments down below, and we are going to be moving on to number six. And coming in at number six, we have Wonderland's town arena it is a very large arena as you can see it is still being worked on but it is still very good it is very colorful and it has a giant spider on top so as you can tell they really put a lot of detail into this it's a really nice build it's got spectator area the actual sand pit for fighting and it's just a very awesome mega build um once again, if you guys really like this build, leave your love and support for it down in the comments down below. And we are now moving on to number 5. Okay, now coming in at number 5, we have Wonderland's Graveyard. It is really small and it is really just meant here for decoration, but just the way of how it looks, it is very spooky at night and it is just a, I wouldn't say amazing, it's not really mega, but it is still a great build looks really cool it's even got some nice funny jokes on the side of it yeah so yeah that's pretty much it for this build nothing really much it's got even got the walls to it and we're gonna move on to number four and coming in at number four we have 
another one of it's Kaleo's builds. It is his, I believe, medieval house. It is a very awesome build, and the reason why I rated it at number four is just the roof to it. It's amazing. It's just beautiful. The way that it all looks and stuff, it's just great. I, I don't even know really any much else to describe it. If you guys like this build, remember to leave a comment down below for this build down below. And we are now going to be moving into number three. Okay, and now coming in at number three, we have the town's farm wind windmill for Wonderland. It is not really done yet, like it's unowned and people started tearing blocks out of it for resources, but it still looks pretty awesome. It's got the cracked blocks to make it look like it's falling apart. And it's, and like I said, it's still not done, but just it looks awesome right now. That is why I'm rating this at number 3. If you guys really like this build, remember to leave your comments down below to show your support for it. And whoever built it will decently let, be let known. Now we are moving on to number 2. Okay, and coming in at number 2, we have Fluffles the Panda's flying boat airship type thingy. It's literally floating in the sky off the side of Wonderland. It's very awesome. I really like it how she got her face up there, and I love it how the blimp is actually up there. Sadly, I'm not able to get onto it because I'm not allowed to build into that area, and plus two, it's on top of the arena, and yeah, I'm not also allowed to build there. So that is number two for this. If you guys would like to show your support for this build, please leave the comment down below, and we are now moving on to number one. And okay, coming in at number one, we are here at Frosted Townies Spawn. It took the builders and the owner and the admins quite a while to build this build, and yet it still looks epic. Just the houses and the shops and even the detail with how they have the info center. It's just awesome. It's the first thing that you guys will see as soon as you walk in. It is completed with a shop. A donor shop the key slot thingy so once you vote or you have a key I mean a what's it called a kit it will you'll get a one of these keys every single week and that is pretty awesome too and then if you come over here you'll see the admins and recent donator donators and it's basically your stuff like that, so that is going to leave this episode off here. If you guys, Once again, if you guys really like this build, please remember to leave and show your support down below. It will definitely show greatness to the admins and the people who built this place. It is them who put their time into this server and things just like this to make the server look nice and pretty not just one of those little plots out in the middle of nowhere for a spawn so yeah you guys i'm gonna leave this episode off here remember to put down your favorite build down in the comments below and as always leave a like and subscribe peace out